Welcome to this shortwave channel and this is our tip number 11 for shortwave radio listeners. We are today Tuesday, February 19th, 2019 and today's shortwave tip is learn to uh, know where everything is on the bands. Learn to understand where are international broadcast bands, where are amateur radio bands. Um, a lot of What's happening on shortwave, especially for newbies, is yeah, I tune around and I get these random stations, but I don't really know what I'm doing because I don't really know where they are located. And the international shortwave bands are actually uh, divided into spaces for different use. Uh, there are specific bands for international broadcasts, specific bands for amateur radio, specific bands for marine or aeronautical stuff. So how do you know this? I will post a link to this page in the, the description below the video. It's a Wikipedia page. And here you've got international broadcast bands with their different frequency ranges. Remember that they could stations could be a little further um, away from those. It's not just these bands. There's like possibly expanded band if you want. But, you know, get the, uh, get the idea of these bands and these frequency ranges and you will actually find that it's uh, quite interesting to know where everything is. So here is the international broadcast bands and at the top you've got, of course, amateur HF bands and stuff that you can check out. Um, so you have main articles for amateur radio bands that you can check out. They will give out, of course, all the details of all the bands for the shortwave bands, where the frequency ranges are, and so on. So check it out. Uh, today, mainly, if you're a uh, mostly a international broadcast band listener, uh, check out this page. Look at what are the ranges. Try to remember what uh, ranges are because um, this will help you if you go out maybe uh, with a portable radio and you have no nothing, no reference with you. Well, if you just remember where the international broadcast bands are located within the shortwave spectrum, it's a good idea because you'll have an idea where to go to listen and try to find stations. Also, um, it's nice because here you've got a little bit of what it might, you know, what times of day might be the best for these, inter for these uh, international broadcast bands. So that's also a really, really... Uh, interesting um, side to it because you'll understand you know typically upper bands are daytime bands lower bands are nighttime bands there's a few bands that are kind of um, 24 hours and there's exceptions to the rules as always it's part of the uh, complexity but also the fun part of learning about shortwave radio so learn your international broadcast bands today I think it's very very important to know where they are located so that you can tune around and know oh i'm in an international broadcast band here i'll be tuning some stations if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching